Hi, my name is Lila Toker and I'm a senior researcher at the Neuroassessment Center for Aging and New Regeneration, located in the beautiful city of Bergen, Norway. In this short presentation, I will briefly describe our latest work based on chipsing data from prefrontal cortex of individuals with Parkinson's disease, indicated the circulation of his oscillation. The most known pathological hallmark of a disease is the death of polynergic neurons in substantia nigra, but other regions, including prefrontal cortex, are also affected. The vast majority of cases are idiopathic, and the genetic contribution to these is estimated to be only around 10 to 20 percent. One of the most robust findings is mitochondrial complex one deficiency. Originally described as substantia nigra, however, recently we have demonstrated it also occurs in other regions of the PD brain. And it's really interesting because complex one deficiency can lead to histone hyperstillation, so it decreases activity of the NAD dependent histone death phases known as serotonin. And just as a short reminder, histone installation is a modulated by histone installations, trans transparases or heads, and histone that's latest age text. Uh, PC-100 and CIRT-1 are just two of those uh, examples, and the reason I mention them here is because I'm going to talk about them later. And the one thing to remember from this slide is that the activity of PC-100 is inhibited by the activity of CIRT-1. Given the strong evidence for complex 1 deficiency in PD and its link to his installation, we wonder whether his installation is indeed impaired in PD. And for this purpose, we studied profound cortex samples from two independent cohorts of subjects looking both at his installation, it, it, looking at his installation both using immune plot and chipsic approaches, and we also had RNA seq data from the same individuals. And the first stage of the study will perform extensive immunoblot analysis to see whether there is indeed evidence for increased dysmethylation in the disease and prioritize specific modification site for further analysis. And as you can see here, this analysis actually showed that there are a increased hyperstillation in several sites, but the strongest wasn't observed for HDK27, which is a marker of active promoters and enhancers. In the next slides, I will briefly describe the general approach and the main findings from our chipsic data for this uh, modification. And unfortunately, I don't have to go into details about the methodological uh, part of the study, uh, but you can read about it in our bioarchive treatment. And the main point is that we actually adjust our uh, models for cell composition, uh, which is estimated basing, uh, based on um, cell type specific HCK27. Uh, regions and methods previously described for gene expression. So after adjusting for cell composition and demographic and technical factors in both cohorts, we observed general HDK27 hyperstillation distributed genome-wide, as can be observed in those main plot and on half However, uh, despite the genomic the genome wide nature of HDK27 hyperstillation, we observed uh, way more pronounced a hyperstillation among genes implicated in PD, either functionally or based on GEO studies. And this was observed regardless was we analyzed each of the cohort individually or when we used them in the combined data using meta-analysis. Our next question was whether HCK27 hyperstillation is indeed induced by altered serotonin activity. To the technical reason, a direct activity cannot be measured in postmortem postmortem brain. However, immunoblot analysis did indicate altered protein level of the uh, CIRT1 and CIRT2, which is consistent with their decreased activity. We next looked at the ENCODE chipset data available for P300 and several non cir 2 NH ducts. And at this point, I have to remind you that it is well established that CIRT1 activity inhibits the activity of P300. In other words, if the activity of CIRT1 is indeed de decreased, P300 activity should be increased, leading to increased histone stellation. And if our hypothesis is correct, HDK27 hyperstillation should be more pronounced in genomic regions with multiple P300 binding sites and uh, less non serotonin uh, HDOC binding sites, since this can compensate for decreased CIRT1 activity. And as I will explain you in a second, this is exactly what we have shown, or we have observed. So this is an example of two APD implicated genes, uh, alpha synuclein, which is hyperstillated in our data, and VP35, which is not. As you can see here, we indeed see multiple binding sites for P300, but non binding site for HDAC1 and HDAC2. On the contrary, for VP35, there's only one P300 binding site and multiple HDAC and HDAC2 binding sites. And of course, it's just one example, but we've seen a similarly uh, increased uh, P300 to non-CIRT1 HDAC binding 
uh, ratio for genes which were significantly hyperstated in our data uh, here uh, indicated in red, uh, while genes which are not significantly hyperstated actually showed a lower ratio. And this is true for, uh, for all genes and when we looked only at the implicated genes. And finally, I'm going to move to our most intriguing uh, finding. As I mentioned before, HDK27 is a marker of active motor and enhancer, and thus, if we see increased uh, global HDK27 translation, we can expect increased transcription level too. However, this is not uh, what we see from the literature and our own finding. And since we already had the RNA seq data from the same individuals, including the chip seq analysis, we looked at the correlation between HDK27, the promote region of genes, and uh, its expression level. And look at the correlation separately for controls and PD. This is an example of one gene, and you can see the chip seq data on x axis and RNA seq data on y axis, and each point represents one individual. And as you can see, in controls indicated in blue, the correlation is very positive, while in PD is indicated in orange, it's actually close to zero. And this is one example. But we actually see the same thing when we do the analysis for all the genes, and it's true regardless of the correlation threshold. This is just a summary of the same plot, and you can see that with increasing threshold for correlation, we see increased uh, median correlation in controls, but no difference uh, in PDs, and it's true for both cohorts of subjects. Just to summarize, HGK27 representation is observed genome-wide, but it's overrepresented among P implicated genes. Both immune blood and chip seq analysis suggest that HGK27 representation is induced by altered cellular activity potentially due to complex quantum deficiency, and HGK27 translation is decoupled from gene expression. And the preprint is available by our archive. Thank you, and thanks to the member of my lab. And if you have questions, please feel free to email me. Thanks.